now we are moving on to the next figure and which is of solid features and which is having cut extrude features so create the base sketch and then go for all the other cut options so the rectangular block is of 62 by 50 so create this particular cross section so go for extrude define internal sketch select the sketching plane go with the sketch and draw a center line and draw a line which is symmetric okay make that as symmetric with respect to the center line and make that dimension as 62 as per the sketch which is given and the height of that is 50 so draw a line which is of 50 and draw the cut and draw a line vertical line go for trim by corner method and trim that location and make this as 50 and draw a circle at the center which is of 20 diameter and at a distance of 25 from the base okay 25 from the base and the width of this is given as 28 and the depth of this is given as 8 so make this as 8 and make this as 28 and make it symmetric make that as symmetric with respect to the center line and now draw a center arc from the mid with 17 radius and in the same manner on the other side with the same equal radii just create the cross section and make this as 17 radii and then delete the unwanted items on the left and right hand side okay and exit from the sketcher mode and go with symmetric and make this as 44 as the length as given in the image go with edit internal sketch so delete this particular arc this, this line this line and this arc go with corner pick on this and pick on this pick on this and pick on this and say done and say done this is the base feature and now go with extrude define internal sketch select this front surface as the sketching plane and now draw the cross section go with sketch references select the side surface and select this side surface as a reference and now go with orienting it parallel to the screen and now draw the center line that is center and arc and center and arc with the same radius and now go with 17 as the radius and the distance from the base is given as 25 and close the loop since we have we cannot have two open cross sections so close that particular loop and say done and now go with cut reverse the direction and take the depth so this has been given as 20 so 44 minus 20 gives 24 so 12 will be the depth of that particular feature so make that as 12 and say done okay and now select this particular feature go with or go with edit feature operations go with copy mirror here independent and dependent will be there go with dependent and say done and now select the features to be mirrored so select this particular feature and save ok and now select the plane to create the datum to mirror about so we have a center datum plane existing so select that particular datum plane so that it gets mirrored onto the opposite side and say done so there's no need of creating any other feature on the opposite side so it gets mirrored and now the cut feature of this particular location that is 14 by 18 has to be created go with extrude 
define internal sketch select this surface as the sketching plane and now go with sketch references and select this datum plane as the reference and now draw a rectangle and now from the base it is of 16 height and which is of 18 by 14 okay go with 14 length and just draw a center line so and make that symmetric with respect to that particular center line and now from the base it is 16 and it is symmetric with respect to the center axis center, center line and say done and make that as cut and say through all and change the direction go with done so throughout the length that particular cut feature will be created this completes our figure